In Tabuli News today, Solomon Islands engages in voluntary national review for development strategy. Steady progress of the Miss Solomon Islands pageant. Pacific Islands Forum Secretary General Lord Solomon Islands elections. And later in sports, Solomon Warriors stumble again in the 2024 OFC Champions League campaign. Hello and welcome. I'm Lisa Ossifello. The voluntary national review of the National Development Strategy is currently underway, inviting stakeholders and non-governmental organisations to participate. This presents an invaluable opportunity to engage with organisations dedicated to advancing the National Development Strategy in the Solomon Islands and assesses their progress. The VNRA is part of the 2030 Agenda, that is the Sustainable Development Goals Agenda, where you me as a UN member country, Solomon Islands, and adopt Team Law 2015. Yeah? So you may nationalize him to the National Development Strategy. So we are reporting um, on the Sustainable Development Goals for the second time this year. The first we in Arawa Yumi Green, Hamlo 2020. So we take, uh, take stock of what progress in Dania in country him no more is for VNR purpose him. In terms of what other core takeaway for this workshop, um, me looking that even though we go through hard times during the COVID um, period, that is from 2020 when we had the first VNR and 2021 and even 22, but uh, there are some work for him being done um, by our partners, including our development partners, our NGOs, and even the civil society organizations who are the present today. So they, they have been doing a lot of work. Like globally, this will dash but we will show today in terms of the trend of progress as a country you may um, you may dream since 2020. Yeah. Uh, most of the targets or same some that we are regressing but actually we are doing a lot of work. And from this presentation, there are rich information we have been presented. Despite facing numerous challenges in recent years, the Solomon Islands has reportedly made significant improvements and progress. You may progress, but there is a lot of um, structural challenges where I still remain too. Um, we will not expect a big, you know, progress since the last VNR, but at least we show what is being done during that uh, period yeah, from 2020 come up as in today. So it's by I'm slow, by me say, but we are actually progressing gradually. By me say. So I guess this uh, VNR process here, yeah, um, very important because we, we take stock of, of how we as a country, you may progress in national development strategy, blame in Umaya, because that's the masterpiece for implementing the um, all our international and regional commitments, yeah, where government blame and sign up blame. So I guess um, me encourage him, everybody, for you have a good look, know what the national development strategy blame is, because that is our, our roadmap in terms of development, yeah, masterpiece for our development. Thank you. The Voluntary National Review will compile a comprehensive report which will be submitted as part of the Sustainable Development Goals to the United Nations Convention. The Renal Bellona Provincial Assembly has a new speaker. He is Jephthah Tuhangenga. Tuhangenga was a contestant in the recent joint elections running for national parliament, but lost the race to John Tuhaika Jr. He was declared speaker of the Renbel Provincial Assembly and took his oath yesterday, Tuesday. He will oversee the election of the Premier tomorrow, Thursday, May 16th. The Miss Solomon Islands pageant has been progressing steadily over the years, says Chief Executive Officer of Solomon Host, Joyce Confilia. Solomon Host has been the main event organiser for the past seven pageants and is now preparing for the next Miss Solomon Islands pageant scheduled to be held in August this year. Yeah, I think there's been a steady progress on um, the the awareness of uh, pageants, yeah? especially how it benefits the, uh, the community as well as the business houses, uh, because we we need the business houses to come and sponsor the girls. And also when we have a Miss Solomon Island crown, uh, she's the 
uh, flag carrier for the sponsor. So uh, so far, how me looking? It has really improved. Uh, there's a, a lot of awareness um, amongst the business houses community, and uh, for this year, me hope that um, because of our uh, hosting of the Miss Pacific Islands, I'm really looking forward to uh, more um, business houses coming out and supporting our girls this year. Next year, the Solomon Islands will host the Miss Pacific Islands pageant in Honiara. Miss Confilia is urging young women aged 18 to 26 to participate in this year's Miss Solomon Islands, aiming to select a representative for next year's pageant. She is also calling on businesses and stakeholders to lend their support in ensuring the success of this event. At the same time, Ms. Confilia, the event planner for the prestigious initiative aimed at empowering girls, expresses her anticipation of working closely with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Following the recent elections, the Solomon Islands has welcomed its new minister for the government ministry, Choilin Douglas. Yes, so uh, we're very excited. We have our female minister for tourism, uh, Choilin Douglas. So we are now looking forward to um, talking to her about uh, not not really the MSIP, but the uh, Miss Pacific Island Pageant uh, for government support team, that program. But yes, also with Miss, Pas uh, Miss Solomon Island Pageant, uh, we will be briefing the minister as well and her, uh, her PS. And um, the government, Mifala, really hope that they will continue with the support from the previous government. Uh, support them now. Um, with the Young Women Development Bluemia, I say in empowerment with the young women. The Ministry of Culture and Tourism is also preparing to send a group to the 13th Festival of Pacific Arts to be held in Hawaii next month. Agnes Votaya, a committee member of the Naha Advisory Committee, emphasizes the importance of passion and dedication in hosting events like the recent Mother's Day celebration for the Naha community. Now, last Saturday, communities from Naha 1, 2, and 3, and 4 joined together to commemorate Mother's Day with a float parade, traditional dances, a queen show, and various activities that brought families together to honor this significant day in the annual calendar of events. Votaya noted that in 2022, with support from their former councillor, the community organized themselves effectively, and since then, they have continued to grow. Him a little bit challenging, but him interesting too. You walk away with him, but you learn for him, understand him, how na characters and blow each ethnic group here. Yeah? And you learn for understand him and save too, how na or the different or the, or the women within the community. Yeah? Some fall out the educated one, some fall out the no more or same yeah? So, for you deal with him, Moketa, you, you, you must, you must learn to understand him, Moketa. Mm. Yeah. Him, by myself, him, him, him challenging, but him interesting. Um, me fala meet no malo, na ha, classroom, school, classroom no ma, me fala sabe meet, currently, me fala no garem office. And me fala, once a month, me fala meet, but if him, any agent matters, German call for meeting, na, yeah. So I put them every month, we will must meet in the zone committees, we will encourage him to get a two or must do more than one monthly meetings. If we meet finish anything for passing come to the zone committees, if I have to call for meeting, we will the zone committees or same. Him now, how same sitting below the committees. So. Yeah, for me, because me, me stay long time to my son now. Then first time me come in, me look him out the pioneers, we will follow here. Uh, that's the spirit of the garden, yeah. Or the, always, me father, whole of the Christmas celebration together in Charlotte zones. And in that way, him, him, him keep him community together intact, yeah. No matter me from different islands or same, yeah, different ethnic group. So from there, also, him, him little bit died down now, lo, lo ethnic crisis, yeah. Me look him, him died down. But me say, no matter, also, same time, me father, meet with him, new counselor, blow me father at that time, him come in. I'm him like from reviving back now out of, out of war there. Yeah. I say, oh, my this one, him something I've been, been practicing come here. Yeah. So me look him awesome. Him, something him lo me now. Awesome. Me, me like him for putting 
no community so sabe that if, if, if one people no ma ya it's not in the village na ba imi go and you me say you me really one people lo ya no mo please you me stay you me stay lo ya sabe no even looking at village blog at after five or six years ya lifetime lo imi lo honi ar en lo na in particular you me lo ya na so what what time now by you seem now what now or seem god given wallet inside lo i for lead ya But time you make life it, time you so strong it. Him now, Mister Talem, what a young leader is that? You utilizing what you got him this time. Lo the surrounding blow you. And lo there now, but you utilize it. By time you go, yeah, but you no got him time for utilizing what now? Uh, qualities inside lo you for being a leader inside the community. Him now for something lo me, so me always tell him what a woman this time. So while I give up, me say no give up. But what time now you use him at this time now? Time you learn life yet. Time you strong yet. Because next thing in me holding walking stick, but me no got time now for move around. Yeah. So him, my passion blow me for just to be with the community. Now this one, yeah. Me got him passion. Me say okay. Wherever me have help out, me help out and sure. Ah, living blow me the community. Something he must always happen to bring us. At a press conference with regional media, outgoing Secretary General of the Pacific Islands Forum Secretary Henry Puna congratulated Solomon Islands for conducting a peaceful election this year. In extending his congratulations, Puna also commended the newly elected Prime Minister Jeremiah Manele. And I'm also wanting to congratulate uh, my friend uh, Jeremiah Manele for being elected as Prime Minister of Solomon Islands. And best wishes also to the former Prime Minister, Sobhavari. But I see he's now the Minister of Finance. In his response to a question from Tavoli News regarding geopolitics, Puna emphasised the sovereignty of Solomon Islands and stressed the importance of other countries respecting its sovereignty. You know, my advice to the Solomons is that carry on as you have, uh, you know, for the past a couple of years. And, and I think, uh, you know, they're aware that they have the freedom and the right to determine their own interests, what is best for them. And, and I think the region and the wider world needs to respect that, that Solomon has absolute sovereignty to determine, you know, what they do and what happens to them in terms of security. He notes that the region has recently attracted considerable interest from other countries around the world. You know, the reality is there's a lot of global interest in our region for their own interests. And my advice, you know, to our leaders is that let's enjoy that interest. Let's not uh, be threatened by it. In fact, let's view it as an opportunity, you know, that we can use for our own betterment in our own ways. The Secretary General spoke at a hybrid press conference from the Cook Islands this morning, organized by the Forum Secretariat for Pacific Media. Welcome back now to Sports. Solomon Warriors loses second match at the 2024 OFC Champions League. Solomon Warriors, with hopes of making a comeback after going down to Hekari in their first match, two goals to nil, suffered another loss to Rewa FC of Fiji, three goals to two earlier today. Solomon Warriors took the lead 15 minutes after kickoff with a goal from Gagame Feni, nicely executed by an interception from J. Gray Sipakana in midfield. Two goals came through within seven minutes, which took the game to a turn. In the 70th minute, Rewa registered a third and 15 minutes to full time. Solomon Warriors tried to make a comeback with a second for Gagame Feni, but it was not enough to take Solomon Warriors through at full time. Rewa FC now proceeds to play a crucial match against Hekari of Papua New Guinea later in the week and the second loss for Solomon Warriors has confirmed an early exit after the final group match against Auckland City. And that's news on Tavoli News. Just before I go, be reminded that a strong wind warning is currently in effect for the waters of Makira, Renal and Bellona, Temotu provinces and the southern waters of western Guadalcanal and Russell Islands. A trough is situated over the country while a general easterly wind flow persists across the country. Poor visibility is expected in areas experiencing showers and thunderstorms. Residents in these areas are advised to take precautionary measures 
as strong winds could pose a threat to lives and properties. Sea travellers are urged to prioritise safety precautions as these winds may result in dangerous wave conditions, particularly hazardous for small boats. I'm Lisa Ossifello. Thanks for staying with us on Tavuli News. We'll see you tomorrow.